Good evening, guys. How are you doing? Hello, hello. How's your day going, guys? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I'm happy to see you again, guys. How is your day going today? Something excited? Uh, I'm sorry, something exciting that you guys want to share with the class, maybe? How are you doing today, Carla? Carla Delgado. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Happy to see you. Muy bien, guys. Muy buenas noches a todos. Gracias por estar aquí otra vez. <clears throat> Espero que se encuentren bien. Espero que estén contentos por un día más que estamos acá. Una clase menos, guys. Así que <ríe> ya tenemos que alegrarnos, ¿verdad? Ya casi. Y bueno, me imagino que todos trabajan, así que el viernes tenemos día libre. Qué bien, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer el puente todo el fin de semana. Nice. We can. Great. Great. Yes, we have uh, the day off. Maybe you guys can spend time with the family or probably you can do something else like uh, go to the mall. Maybe you can go shopping or you can go uh, have dinner somewhere. So hopefully you guys can enjoy on Friday. Do you guys have any plans for Friday or maybe just stay at home and just relax? So teacher, <laughs> I have to work. Uh, on Friday because I work for the Minister of, of Health. Ah, I see. Yeah. Uh -huh. And there are exceptions. In... I know. We have to, to work. I, I know. have yeah. to. Today. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you for that, Julio. And yeah, I know uh, some people just like you because, uh, I mean, your job is really important to society. So you guys have to work because of that. So I understand that, and but I think that the only the, the good thing about that is that they have to pay you like double for that time that you're going to work. So that's the good part. Así que bueno, eh, para los que sí vamos a trabajar, en mi caso creo que voy a trabajar aunque sea un par de horas. Eh, bueno, pues tenemos el lado bueno que nos van a pagar más. Tenemos ahí la paga doble, verdad? Así que eso es bueno. Y para los que van a descansar, pues disfrútenlo, verdad? descansen, relájense si quieren salir pues también salgan un rato, caminar uh, bueno olvidarse de todo por un rato ok, así que bueno muchas gracias por estar acá otra vez guys eh, esta semana ya casi se termina de las clases, solamente tenemos la clase de hoy y la clase del día de mañana <coughs> perdón, yo todavía sigo mal de la garganta eh, vamos a continuar con los temas que hemos estado viendo y vamos Básicamente, esta semana nosotros teníamos que cubrir la sección 1 y la sección 2. Ayer estuvimos como trabajando ahí, ¿verdad? En la parte del pasivo, eh, teníamos una lectura por ahí, en la cual ustedes estuvieron participando. Y para el día de hoy, vamos a seguir, vamos a avanzar. Tenemos que cubrir los temas. Y también vamos quizás como a practicar un rato. Pero ustedes, ¿verdad? O sea, que ustedes hablen bastante. So that is like the agenda for today, guys. We're going to do all those things. Uh, first, we're going to check some of the uh, materials that we have on the platform. And then we are going to have the opportunity so you guys can practice. So I have a couple of things that I want to show you. Let me see. Let me take a look here. Bueno, vamos a ver por acá. Nosotros nos quedamos en la parte del pasivo. Eso estábamos viendo ayer. Vamos a ver. Ahora vamos. Por acá se lo voy a mostrar. Deme un segundo. Please bear with me. Okay, here we go. Vamos a ver, aquí está. Vamos a compartir esto. Les quería mostrar esto rapidito. Hoy vamos a ir un poco rápido para que podamos cubrir el material. <coughs> Perdón, guys. Bueno, eh, por acá está esta parte que es, eh, si ustedes ven en la plataforma, eh, ya vimos esta, la primera lección. Aquí está el knowledge check. Eh, I don't know, you guys have any problems with this. I, I see that uh, you guys shared like some screenshots in the WhatsApp group that we have. So I hope that you guys are doing okay. Creo que Julio me hizo una pregunta acerca de una una oración, una parte. No sé si eh, encontró la respuesta, Julio, o todavía le da error. No, teacher. Uh, I didn't uh, find the, the, 
didn't find the it, right answer. It's still, uh, giving me um, an error. error. Uh huh. You're still getting an error. Okay. So I think that it must be. And what question was it? I mean, was it for section one or was it for section two? Because I can see it. Oh. Mm. Um, no, that no. It I think it's the, the it's section two. I Sorry, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. No problem. We are going to look into that later on. Okay, so no worry. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, vamos a ver. Eh, lo vamos a dejar ahí por ahora. Pues, eh, Julio ya ya se nos adelantó bastante, ¿verdad? <laughs> Pero está bien. Esto ustedes lo pueden manejar como ustedes gusten. Así que no hay ningún problema. Bueno, entonces acá está esta parte de el Knowledge Shack. Básicamente ustedes solo tienen que elegir la opción correcta. Eh, tomando como base lo que hemos estudiado acerca de eh, la forma pasiva. Por ejemplo, acá dice, uh, ¿Sabes? Do you know who created these popular works? Match the phrases with the appropriate information. Like the keys. And then probably, I think that in this case you will have to do like some research about this uh for example in this case i don't know i, I don't really know the answer to this maybe the keys uh, was also, it huh? was recorded by by the by the beatles by the beatles oh i see all right mm -hmm. thank you i appreciate that yeah I, i don't have like too much knowledge about these things so thank you all right so we have then the song yesterday it was in this case we can say maybe um Recorded? Oh, no, oh, no, but that's not that's not it. Maybe composed. Would that uh, be the answer? Me... Composed. Bueno, aquí básicamente guys, es de un poco de cultura general yeah, también. Ahí me, me disculpan. Gracias, Francisco. Gracias. Me disculpan que yo no sé mucho acerca de esto, pero ustedes lo pueden buscar, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, la canción Yesterday, que en la bueno, es un poco de lógica en algún punto, pero al, al inicio, pues yo no, no sabía que la canción de Kiss fue grabada por los Beatles. Así que solamente es eso, como para reforzar esa parte. ¿verdad? Luego <coughs> tenemos esta sección que es acerca de la pronunciación. Yo les traigo acá un material que les quería compartir acerca de esto. Tenemos pronunciación de algunas vocales. ¿okay? Entonces, en el inglés es un poco diferente de lo que es en el español. Eh, veamos que en el inglés tenemos A, E, I, O, U. Así, ¿verdad? Sencillo. Pero, ¿qué pasa con el inglés? Por ejemplo, la letra O, combinada con diferentes letras del alfabeto, hace un sonido diferente. ¿Ok? Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a ver ahorita. Les voy a mostrar, tenemos solamente, creo que dos o tres vocales aquí, que es la letra O corta y la letra O larga. ¿Ok? Ya les voy a explicar cómo funciona. También tenemos eh, la letra U y creo que eso sería todo. Pero lo vamos a ver el video rapidito y después les voy a explicar. ¿Ok? practice. Notice how the letter O is pronounced. Permítame un segundo, guys, que yo le doy siempre todo el... Ahí está. Hi, let's work on your pronunciation now. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. Pronunciation. The letter O. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. Not. Top. No. Don't. Do. Food. One. Love. Remember. Okay, bueno, entonces acá, eh, so what do we have here, guys? Basically, we have the letter O, and like I mentioned before, the letter O, it has like different pronunciations. In this case, uh, there are like different sounds that we can produce. For example, we have the short O, like not top okay it's short uh and then we have the long uh o sound like no don't right so it's a little longer okay when it comes to this uh short o it is just not top not top okay no don't so it's a little bit longer basically you have to o like no don't and then we have not and top. So there's a little difference there. Uh, I know that it may be hard at first, but 
uh, we are going to practice that part. I just wanted to present this to you guys in case that, I mean, <laughs> this is something that can be useful for you. And then we have the U sound, okay? So we have still the letter O, but in this case, this is pronounced like the letter U. Like, do you know where the library is at? Uh, do you have a family? Do you have a car? Do, okay, do. Then we have food. So it sounds like an, like an U for us, like food. Do. Okay. Then we have the sound uh, for the letter O uh, in these words that sounds like a like the like the letter A in Spanish, like one, love, I love you. One, some. So basically, those are like the different sounds that we can make with the letter O, like not, no do and one okay i have some examples here that i wanted to share with you guys let me show them for you okay so bueno aquí tenemos algunos ejemplos guys tenemos algunas palabras para que ustedes lo vean tenemos el, la perdón tenemos la letra o con estas palabras que representa como un sonido como si fuera una a prácticamente so one number one one, two, three. One. I won the contest. Basically, they have the same pronunciation. And here, we also have some and some. They have the same pronunciation as well. And then we have none and none, right? So as you can see, we have the letter O, but the sound, it is like the letter A, like none. None and none. Basically, they have the same pronunciation, okay? I hope that this is not confusing for you, but hopefully I can make myself clear. Then we have these other two words, okay? Sun, sun. They both have the same pronunciation, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it may sound like surprising for you, but they have the same pronunciation, guys. Probably you didn't know about this. So sun, sun of the sun, sun, sun. Don't go outside and play in the sun, sun. <laughs> Esta parte es aquí un poco eh, confusa, ¿verdad? Un poquito enredada. Pero lo que yo les quiero presentar básicamente es estos sonidos de, de la vocal de la letra O. Ok, tenemos la O que en algunos casos suena como si fuera una A. Esta, este símbolo es un símbolo de fonética. Ustedes eh, se pueden auxiliar de esto, digamos, en caso de que no sepan cómo se pronuncia una palabra. Ustedes ven eh, la forma fonética y eso nos ayuda a saber cómo se pronuncia. ¿Ok? Entonces aquí es one. 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 Basically, they have the same pronunciation. Then we have some. Like some of you. Someone. ¿Ok? Some. Then we have none. It's not actually like the A, but it, it sounds like the letter A. So it, it's really, it's really funny, but that's the way it works, okay? So, entonces, en este caso, guys, <coughs> acá, como les digo, eh, tenemos este, eh, la letra O con este sonido, okay? No sé si tenemos preguntas hasta ahora. Perdón, eh, sé que es un poquito quizás confuso en un momento. Y quizás en algunas ocasiones nos vamos a preguntar, bueno, pero ¿cuándo la uso? O sea, ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo voy a saber la diferencia? Entonces, yo les podría decir que prácticamente nosotros no vamos a estar 100% seguros, sino que depende de cómo nosotros lo vayamos aprendiendo, poco a poco, ¿ok? No va a ser de inmediato, no vamos a ver una palabra y vamos a decir, ah, bueno, se pronuncia así. Eh, entonces, simplemente vamos a tener que nosotros, con la experiencia, y con el aprendizaje que vayamos haciendo a través del tiempo, vamos a saber cuáles palabras se pronuncian eh, con qué sonido, ¿ok? Yo lo que hago eh, cuando tengo dudas con alguna palabra, porque nos pasa siempre, ¿verdad? Es como que digo, bueno, ¿cómo se pronuncia esta palabra? Voy y busco la pronunciación fonética, que es esta que está acá, ¿ok? Esto es la forma más como eh, acertada para poder tener la pronunciación, ¿ok? Tenemos one, 
some, none, son. Estos son como sonidos bastante comunes, sonidos de vocales. Así que esta es la letra O con un sonido eh, similar al de la letra A en el español. ¿okay? Luego teníamos también la letra O, la letra O corta y la letra O larga. ¿okay? Entonces tenemos aquí algunos ejemplos. Si se fijan, tenemos por ejemplo dot, then dot. Tenemos got and goat, not and note, okay? Note. As you can see, so that there's like this note, road, cope. So it is like a, lar a larger O sound, like no, goat, note, cope, okay? We have mope, soap, and then we have sop, mop, cop, rot, hop. So that's the difference, guys. Okay? I just wanted to show you this. Uh, I know that may be confusing a little bit. So, but I just wanted to explain this part to you really quick. Bueno, no sé si tenemos alguna pregunta, guys, perdón, eh, acerca de esto. Hemos entendido cuál es la diferencia entre cada una de estas. Básicamente es un sonido diferente que se produce, pero siempre es la letra O. Si se fijan acá, tenemos not, no, do, one. ¿Alguna pregunta, guys, acerca de esto? Espero no haberlos confundido. Any questions? No questions. All right. Bueno, entonces, eh, solamente era como una parte que está acá, parte del programa. Yo quería presentarles a ustedes. Entonces, vamos a continuar. Si no hay preguntas, vamos a continuar. Entonces, vamos a ver. Eh, solamente está como allí mencionado brevemente. Es como una parte de pronunciación, como parte de este digamos, programa integral en el cual estamos intentando eh, involucrar todos los aspectos, ¿verdad? La pronunciación, el listening, eh, reading, um, speaking, all of that. So, we can continue, guys, in that case. If you don't have any questions, we can just move on. All right, so then we have this uh, conversation here. Uh, this is a conversation between two people that they are talking on the phone. And one of them is trying to get some information uh, from the other person. So, we are going to listen to the conversation really quick. And then we are going to basically uh, talk about it a little bit, okay? Bueno, vamos a hacer lo siguiente, guys. Eh, vamos a escuchar la, el, el video y quiero que ustedes intenten, eh, si pueden anotar o si pueden tal vez, eh, digamos, memorizar lo más que puedan acerca de, de esto. Luego vamos, me gustaría, me gustaría hacerles unas preguntas acerca de la conversación, okay? Así que la vamos a escuchar rapidito y después vamos a discutir acerca de esto, ¿de acuerdo? Así que aquí vamos. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver para acá. Pasar para atrás. Hi, are you ready to listen to the conversation? This time we will listen to two people asking and giving information. They do so by using passive voice, but this time in simple present. Try to identify the sentences. I will underline them for you as soon as the conversation is over. Conversation. I need some information. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union? I think the euro is used in most of the EU. Oh, right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Huh? Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. <laughs> Were you able to do it before I did? Nice. Now I want you to answer the following question. What three things does the man ask about the European Union? Write your answers on our discussion box. Hey, listen and practice. Hello? Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union? I think the euro is used in most of the EU. Oh, right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Huh? Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? 
How would I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. Okay, there we go. Were you able to do it before I did? Nice. Now I want you to answer the following question. What three things does the man ask about the European Union? There we go. So we're going to answer to that question, guys. Uh, what three things does he ask about the European Union? Vamos a ver. ¿Qué me pueden decir? ¿Qué cosas pregunta él acerca de la Unión Europea? In your own words. You can say whatever you want. Okay, vamos a ver. Tenemos a Julio por acá. Go ahead, Julio. Uh, uh, he asked her about the 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 euro, and he asked for uh, the the language they speak in in um, U A U E. Uh -huh. like, you know, uh, <laughs> he asked. He asked her about uh, if if English is uh, the uh, the most uh, language spoken in in you in you mm -hmm. eat. Mm -hmm. and yeah. then and the third one I think is uh, uh, about the the credit cards about credit cards yeah mm -hmm. okay all if, right if, and use them uh, in EU. Oh, if they are used in the EU. Okay. Thank you so much, Julio. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. So then uh, let's see who else wants to participate. Anybody else? Anybody else that would like to participate? Vamos a ver por acá. ¿Quién más? Aparte de Julio. Vamos a ver quién más quiere hablar por acá. Eh, veamos. ¿Qué tal eh, Wendy, por ejemplo? Vamos a ver qué puede decirnos Wendy. In your own words, guys. You can say whatever you want to, okay? I'm not asking you to say exactly what they said. You guys can say whatever you want. Vamos a ver también a Beatriz, tal vez. Me gustaría escucharlos. Uh, hi. Hello. Uh, uh, hello. Mm -hmm. uh, the man uh, mm -hmm. asked uh, about what is the currency. About what is the currency? Okay. Uh -huh. In the uh, uh, Europe. How do you say Europe? Europe. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Europe. Europe. And then, uh, what is the uh, credit card? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much, Beatriz. I appreciate that. Thank you. Good job. Okay. So, thank yep, you. that's that's true. So, just like Julio said, and just like Beatriz said, they were asking the first thing that he asked is about. Uh, I can hear you. We can hear you, teacher. Teacher, I can hear you. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, can you guys can you guys hear me now? I'm sorry about that. I think that I had a problem with the microphone here. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know, guys. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I have these uh, headsets that they sometimes uh, get loose a little bit, and then the microphone it just stops working for some reason so thank you for letting me know All right so so that's right just like julio said and just like beatrice said basically they are uh talking about uh the currency in europe and also the uh if credit cards are used in the european union like the eu right i know that i know that sometimes guys it can be hard to say like uh the letters Sometimes, I mean, <laughs> we can get confused. Uh, that's something that happens to me sometimes. Like when you want to say like uh, the letter uh, E or the letter I and A, that can be confusing sometimes. 
So that's the reason why we kind of do this. Uh, so you guys can practice. So you can uh, say the words and the letters uh, with confidence. That's the most important thing, right? Because you, that's what you guys told me at the beginning. You guys told me that you wanted to practice, that you wanted to be fluent. So I'm just trying to uh, push you a little bit so you guys can do that. Okay. So we're going to continue. <clears throat> Vamos a continuar. Entonces acá eh, Julio Beatriz nos acaban de compartir acerca de esto. No sé si alguien más quiere compartir algo con la clase. ¿Qué más pueden decirnos acerca de esto? Puede ser cualquier cosa. Como les digo siempre, acá somos libres de decir eh, lo que queramos siempre y cuando sea de la clase, ¿verdad? Si se fijan acá, eh, nosotros vamos a entrar a este, esta conversación. ¿Cuál es el punto de la conversación? Básicamente es que se utiliza también la voz pasiva. Ok, eh, por acá está. Lo vamos a poner. Bueno, se ve bastante feo, la verdad. Vamos a ver, Carla, ¿nos quiere decir algo? Carla Delgado. <laughs> no, 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 this time. Ok, no problem. Bueno, vamos a ver. No eh, idea. Por acá huh? se ve un poquito mejor. Well, what about... No, really. Credit right? cards. It doesn't look so good. It looks really bad. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> This looks terrible, man. Ah, veamos, tal vez por ahí se ve un poco mejor. Mm, bueno. Vamos a intentar borrar acá, guys. Permítanme un instante. Bueno, ahí está. Bueno, entonces acá tenemos eh, eh, algunas expresiones en las cuales se utiliza la voz pasiva. Solamente que en este caso nosotros vamos a utilizar la voz pasiva without the by phrase that we were talking about before. Like, for example, we have here uh, what currency is used. Vamos a ver, vamos a cambiar el color. Esto se ve bastante feo. Vamos a ver acá, tal vez. Dice, what currency is used in the European Union? Okay. The euro is used in most of the European Union or the EU. Okay. Teacher. Dígame. Excuse me, teacher. Dígame. Uh, I can see the, uh, the dialogue that we heard. Uh, we i just seen the the short o and low o mm -hmm. right okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay it's it's okay is it okay Be, because i got confused <laughs> <laughs> uh i'm sorry about that julio so um uh, What exactly uh, would you like to know about that? No, it, I I thought that you uh, that you were uh, in the dial, the man with the girl. Mm -hmm. uh, uh huh. Teacher. Okay. Yeah. You are uh, making circles in the presentation. Then where you show oh. short of <laughs> I apologize guys I'm so sorry about that vamos a ver perdón <laughs> ay, ay. aquí está y eh, por acá está perdón guys a veces se me olvida que tengo que hacer la transición de un lado para el otro eso es lo que me estaba intentando decir verdad Julio oh, okay yes I'm so sorry about yes, that guys teacher. the slide is, was, uh, <laughs> wasn't the cor in, incorrect <laughs> yeah I'm sorry about that guys sometimes uh, I forget to do this I apologize. Right. So basically what, what I was trying to say is in this part here, we have the uh, passive voice, like in this case here, we have what currency it is used in the European Union, or I think the euro is used in most of the EU. So we have these uh, sentences basically that have the passive voice. Okay. And that is the reason why we have this conversation. So you guys can see other examples in how we can use the passive voice, okay? No solamente podemos utilizar eh, las by phrase que estuvimos diciendo antes, sino que también lo podemos hacer de esta forma. Tenemos estas oraciones de voz pasiva en las cuales no se incluye eh, sí. esa parte. Vamos a avanzar ahorita eh, porque quiero que avancemos y quiero que ustedes puedan practicar también y les voy a mostrar de lo, a lo que me refiero. Vamos Are a ver. Every... Sorry about that, guys. So vamos aquí a continuar. Estamos por acá. 
Aquí está. Eh, básicamente, este video es acerca de eso que les acabo de mencionar. Eh, vamos a verlo y luego se lo voy a explicar rapidito, ¿ok? Es bien corto, dura como dos minutos. Hi, we're back again. Now we'll study passive voice in simple present without by. Please pay attention to the explanation, examples, and exercises. Passive without by. Simple present. For the simple present, use the present of be plus past participle. Active. They use the euro in most of the European Union. Passive. The euro is used in most of the EU. Active. They speak English in many European countries. Passive. English is spoken in many European countries. Active. They manufacture a lot of cars in Europe. Passive. A lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. As we saw with the simple past passive, we change the emphasis when we use the simple present passive. Instead of saying, they use the euro in most of the European Union, we can say the euro is used in most of the European Union. The focus changes from they to the euro, which is what we're interested in. Follow me here. I have these passive sentences to demonstrate how the by phrase is omitted here. The euro is used in most of the European Union by the people. Cars are manufactured in Europe by manufacturers. What I want you to notice is that the doer of the action in each of these sentences is obvious or not important. So the by phrase can be easily omitted. So this takes us to our structure. And because we're using simple present passive, this is what we have to work with. Is are present of be plus past participle. Can you now take a look at the following images and come up with one sentence using passive in simple present? Please write your sentence on our discussion box and ask your teacher to check it out for you. Follow me here. <coughs> I have this passive sentence out bueno. of by... Entonces acá, eh, básicamente, guys, es lo que les estaba mencionando. En este caso, estamos utilizando la voz pasiva, pero estamos, eh, ya que quien hace la acción puede que sea muy obvio, como en este caso, ¿verdad? dice, el euro es utilizado en la mayoría de la Unión Europea. Entonces, es bastante obvio que quienes utilizan el euro son las personas. Entonces, por esa razón, nosotros omitimos esta parte, ¿verdad? No decimos, by the people, because it's pretty obvious that they do it, right? I mean, who else is going to use the, the money other than people? I mean, it's just going to be just people using money. So then we have cars are manufactured in Europe and who manufactures cars, I mean, manufacturers. Uh, so that's the reason why we can just omit this part because it's pretty obvious who is doing the action. <clears throat> Entonces, eh, bueno, luego the tenemos por acá. Of the European <clears throat> Union by the por acá. La estructura. So the by... Se la vamos a mostrar por acá. Acá dice cuál es la estructura. Básicamente es el verbo, como estamos haciéndolo en el presente simple, nosotros utilizamos el verbo to be. Por ejemplo, como decía en la, en la oración anterior, uh, the euro is used uh, in most of the uh, EU, for example. Tenemos entonces al sujeto, luego tenemos al verbo to be y tenemos el pasado participio del verbo. ¿okay? Por ejemplo, use or manufactured. Como acá, cars are manufactured in Europe. ¿okay? Tenemos nuestro sujeto, el verbo to be, luego el verbo en la forma participio y luego el complemento. Simple. Tenemos la otra oración que dice the euro is used in most of the EU. So we have the euro, that is the subject. Then we have the verb to be. Then we have the verb in the past participle. And then we have the complement. Just like that, guys. Really easy. So, <clears throat> ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer nosotros? Nosotros vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Eh, para que podamos practicar un poco, me gustaría que tengamos como una pequeña actividad en la cual ustedes puedan hablar acerca de cosas, pueden ser de su trabajo, por ejemplo, 
o pueden hablar acerca de cosas en su casa, en la cual nosotros utilicemos la voz pasiva y también podamos utilizar otras cosas, ¿ok? Como les digo, tratemos de ser creativos, tratemos de imaginarnos situaciones eh, y eso nos ayuda como a darnos cuenta qué parte es la que necesitamos reforzar, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a intentar hacer eso, hablar acerca de, por ejemplo, uh, in my job, if, if I talk about my job, I can say that uh, classes are presented by teachers uh, through uh, Zoom or through an online platform, for example, I can say that Or I can say that um, my wife, uh, if we, let's, let's say that we think about an active sentence and then we want to change it to the passive form, we can say like uh, my wife or my husband, uh, he cooks dinner uh, every, every day, for example. Or uh, the dinner is cooked by my wife or my husband every day, for example. You can say things like that. And then you can have like this little conversation between you. So that is what I would like for you guys to do. Maybe to talk to each other that you can come up with some, let's say, uh, conversation where you can practice what we learned so far. So we are going to do that, okay? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de lo que vamos a hacer? Eh, como les dije, vamos a tener como este momento para que ustedes practiquen. Vamos a utilizar la voz pasiva. Y si tienen preguntas, yo los voy a estar eh, acompañando en algún momento para que ustedes puedan, eh, digamos, eh, solventar esas dudas que tengan, ¿ok? ¿Alguna pregunta, guys? No question. Bueno, no preguntas por ahora. Sí, teacher. Uh, sería entonces con el presente simple. Sí, eh, como con... le digo... Pueden utilizar el presente simple. Eh, ya vemos dos formas hasta ahora. Uh -huh. Acabamos, vimos la parte de la de utilizando el by phrase, like, uh, eso era con el pasado, ¿verdad? Con el pasado simple. Y ahorita acabamos de ver la forma del presente simple, en la cual solamente nosotros como que omitimos de alguna forma eh, quién está haciendo la acción. ¿okay? Entonces, por okay. ejemplo, ustedes pudieran decir de Uh, pudieran hablar de lo que sea, acerca de transporte, pueden hablar acerca de eh, centros comerciales, hospitales, todo ese tipo de cosas de la vida, del día a día, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer eso. All right, guys. So, we're going to have a couple of minutes so you guys can practice. So, let's try to talk to each other. Uh, try not to be shy, like, just uh, stay silent all the time. Let's try not to do that, ¿ok? Uh, try to practice a little bit. Aquí vamos. Vamos a hacer unos grupos en los cuales van a haber de dos a tres participantes para que puedan practicar, ¿ok? Aquí va. There we go. Yo voy a buscar. Ah, ok. Entonces no sé qué hay que hacer. Ok. Aquí nos está acompañando. <risa> eh, <risa> Okay. Uh, uh, he uh, uh, the the activity is a, a conversation and use uh, use the um, el passive passive uh, 
present passive, sí, yes. Mm -hmm. eh, in, in activities, eh, eh, the, um, eh, in, in, uh, ¿cómo, di ¿cómo le digo? Actividades del día o de, de cualquier situación, ¿verdad? A, cotidiano, eso es lo que estaba buscando, perdón, ¿Cuál, mm -hmm. esa palabra. Ok, entonces... Eh, uh, teacher, uh, this is my first class uh, because mm. I sick. Uh, oh, you were uh, sick. Okay, I'm sorry I, about that. Uh, uh, ah, pero okay. voy a tratar de estar al día, ¿ok? Me voy a, <laughs> voy a tratar de ver los videos. ¿Cómo identifico los videos en su en en el en la en YouTube? Well, that is an excellent question, and I'm I'm sorry that you were not feeling okay. So. They, I think that usually they send you like this uh, information with the links so you can access to the uh, to the playlist because there is a, a, a special playlist just for us. But I can also share that with you. So I'm going to share the uh, the link to the playlist so you can watch the videos on YouTube. Let me do that. Oh, okay. Eh, eh, pero hay como, como muchos. ¿Cómo como identifico la viñeta? Uh, well, I mean, basically, link is to the playlist, and then uh, we name the videos, like, for example, uh, number one, then number two, and then you will see the dates as well, so you can choose the uh, the videos uh, that you want to watch, like, for example, uh, session number one or session number two. So far, we only had two classes. This group class. is number three. No? Mm, this is... Five. Uh, no, I mean, but like I mentioned before, I'm going to send you the link to the playlist, so you will get the access yeah, the only. Link. You will get the access only to the videos for my classes only. Oh, okay. 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 Thank you. Okay, uh, Beatrice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. Uh, get me, get me. No tomé, yo no tomé la pantallita. Tomó la pantallita de, de la de la de los. Mm -hmm. Eso es I search the 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 Okay. De acuerdo, entonces le acabo de enviar aquí el enlace para la playlist. Como le digo, básicamente ahí van a estar okay. las clases solamente de nuestro grupo, ¿ok? No están las clases de otros grupos. Entonces ahí usted las puede identificar. Está la número uno, la número dos. Y de esa forma. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Very welcome. Oh, so, there we go. Ok. Ok. Um... Permítame ver, es que estoy entrando a la, 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 a link para empezar a ver la, la... Le voy a compartir también quizás eh, por acá la estructura para cómo se hacía el pasivo sí. con la passive by, by yes, phrase. Please. Se lo yes, voy a compartir. Please. No hay problema. Por eso, me gusta, por eso me gusta entrar para poder ver qué es lo que sí, necesita. Las dificultades. Dificultades. Sí, correcto. Yes. So there we go. I just sent okay. you an image to the WhatsApp group about the structure and, and I'm also going to send you another uh, image so you can see that vamos a ver por acá cosas de que podamos practicar verdad y como les digo ustedes okay. pueden hablar de cualquier cosa pueden hablar de lo que sea es okay. bastante libre pero sí sería bueno que podamos tal vez practicar intentar como como esforzarnos de usar nuestra imaginación para poder decir algunas frases utilizando el tema que estamos viendo verdad así como el passive mm -hmm. like uh, let's say Uh, cars are manufactured in China by people, for example. Mm -hmm. Or you can say uh, patients are 
uh, taken care of by uh, doctors in hospital, for example. You can say things like that. I mean, we just want to use the passive voice and you can apply that to any uh, area of uh, our life. Like It can be anything. Vamos a ver, voy a pasar por acá. Passive. Okay. Vamos a ver por acá. Eso es lo que estamos viendo. Le voy a pasar aquí los ejemplos que están en el video. Para que los tengan de referencia. Aquí tenemos estos otros. Ejemplos. Estos son los que acabamos de ver donde no utilizamos by. Así que. Si, si gustan, pues les dejo un momentito para que puedan revisarlo. Y voy a ver con los demás compañeros, a ver cómo va. Okay. En el chat. Lo... Excuse me. En, en el chat está. Yes, That is in correct. The chat. That is correct. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, pero... Bueno, ya triste. Hello, Melissa. She left. Okay. No problem. Kind of wanted to hear them out. Crops. Y el verbo como le quedó el grow en grew. Ahorita le digo. Le voy a escribir así. No sé si le... uh -huh. Grow con no. N. Uh -huh. Porque va el presente del verb to be más el pasado en participio. El verbo y el participio, el pasado participio. Entonces, ¿qué fue lo que le, el, ¿cómo le quedó la oración completa? ¿Qué fue lo que usted le eliminó no, o le cambió? Solamente eso le agregué a la, a la parte de ahí donde hay que escribir, solo a grow. O sea, le cambié el verbo en participio. Ah, en el espacio de escribir solo puso a grow, nada más. Uh -huh. Ajá, correcto. Dependiendo que esté hablando, si es plural o singular o digamos que son terceras personas o cosas así, entonces dependiendo de eso usted va a ver si es is o a ahí menciona que es el presente más el pasado participio pero me la sigue dando mal de, en serio de verdad solo se escribió en el espacio are grow ¿Sí? pero no me sigue saliendo mal grow, no puso el punto al final no, sin nada ah pues tal vez eso quiero ver my por ejemplo, puede ser my, este, my wife was going on a shopping every month. My wife was. No, no. No, pues no sé cómo decir que las compras fueron hechas por mi esposa en ese caso. The shopping was by both by my wife. Let's say, uh, the the were made 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 como de de hacer. No estoy segura del uso de... Sí, aquí lo, lo me acabo de auxiliar del, de Google. Eh, dice, the, the shopping was... Made. Was, were made, made for my wife. Mm. Para como decir que otra persona la es. Para usar el, el by sería by my wife. Uh -huh. By my wife. Mm -hmm. por ejemplo um, my chair was made by my mother she can fix clothes 
and she made my shirt, my teacher. No sé si me entendió. Sí, sí. En pasiva, the t-shirt was made by my mother. A ver, otra, uh, otra podría ser I, I driving I driving on the beach or, or art es art porque está hablando de de Francia no de francés y el inglés dije French en English y el de el ocho que dice make up siempre quedaría como make up Ah, pero el pasado del verbo make es made. Es solo make. Ah, como made. Ah, como hecho. Uh -huh. Quiero ver. Ajá, es make up. Ah, no, y no, es M-A-D-E. Uh -huh. Solo así. Sí, solo is make up y la... Me, ah, make Siempre con el U, U, P al final. Uh -huh. Exacto. A ver si hoy le parece. Ah, ahora sí. Ajá, es que solo lo había dejado como made. Ah, ok. No. Y rice. Uh, rice. Okay. Rice. Ah, todavía faltaba. Sí, <risa> sí, es rice. Solo al final le agrego una D. ¿Qué sería el participio? Es rice. Uh -huh, rice. Bueno, rice. Uh, rice. No, me, me da malo. Is rice. No, es R porque dice a lot of chief. Okay. In my case, uh, I have a family living in the is living in the USA, but they don't speak English. They say to me, uh, "You need to go to the." school and to learning um, English. They don't speak English. They only speak in Spanish, but they uh, speak English with the person in the USA. My purpose is to can speak in and, and listen and listen correct of the, the person speaking. Uh, because it's my problem. And my problem is when the people are speaking to me, I don't get it, uh, the information. I am trying to practice and listen uh, of the different uh, videos in YouTube or, or in, in Netflix. But it's very difficult. In my case, I don't have problem when uh, reading I get it all the information or when to write my problem is when the people talking. I don't, I don't know to get it. Or the person is uh, ask question to me. I don't, uh, I don't can't um, answer the information. Uh, is this my problem? I am trying to practice this for this uh this difficult. Okay, I understand that. Uh, I think everybody uh, it's it's been in uh in that. Uh, sometimes um, when I go to the uh, to the U.S. in and go and I go alone uh, to the to the store. <clears throat> Sometimes I got confused, and and my and my brain is out of of everything. I don't have everything in my mind, so I I I I have to ask for for someone in Spanish. Because, because I don't know. Sorry. 
yeah we okay. we we we'd like uh, but uh, it, how, how you say uh, the free time uh, some some fun moment yeah, yeah we can yeah. we can accord accord the 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 time uh, yes to try uh -huh. the, the the practice Yes, for you know, with my schedule and your schedule. Uh, teacher, how do you say ponernos de acuerdo? Um, we can agree. We can agree uh, to do something. Right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we can agree. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. Uh, for, like in this case, I think that you're trying to agree to uh, uh, time. Uh, you can agree for a time so you can practice. Yeah. Uh, right. Hablamos de que, que, que a veces, bueno, en mi caso y en el caso de él, que a veces queremos practicar con alguien, pero como no tenemos a nadie más, entonces no, no, no podemos hacerlo. I got it. Okay. I, mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, pero that's estamos right. Recordando esto. <laughs> Very good. That makes me happy. That makes me really happy, guys. I think that that's uh, what we are looking what we're looking for and that's the reason why I kind of do these activities so you guys can talk to each other and maybe you guys feel like you can have some arrangements or you can practice that's perfect I think that that that's really good I like it that makes me really happy thank you teacher okay. thank you teacher thank you guys thank you I, I really appreciate that you have uh, you are willing to to learn and to improved so that's really good that makes me really happy so yes i hope i hope that you guys had the opportunity to practice a little bit today and if you guys have time so you can practice at a different time maybe and then yeah. that's perfect so i just wanted to tell you that i'm going to finish with the activity for today so i'm going to yes. do this i'm going to close all the rooms and then i will just uh, say goodbye to everybody okay okay sure. right. okay here we go okay, what's like francisco Solamente un momento, por favor, quédense unos segunditos. Quédense unos momentitos y me voy a despedir de todos, ¿ok? Ok. There we go. There we go. Thank you so much for staying until the end, guys. Thank you. Really want to thank you for all the uh, i was actually in the groups with you and i really liked it the way that you guys work together that's awesome very good good job guys vamos a esperar a los demás creo que faltan unos dos o tres todavía por ahí vamos a ver ahí está there we go thank you so much guys thank you for staying until the end i just wanted to say thank you for staying on, until the very end of the class and i really liked it the way that you guys work together the way that you guys were kind of trying to talk to each other and i can see that you were trying to discuss about different things so that's perfect very good job I just wanted to say that and I just wanted to say goodbye i don't know if you guys have any questions or if there is something that you, you would like to say before we go like oh, any teacher mm -hmm. uh, about the 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 exercise that that we were uh, talking about the <clears throat> the music and all the thing the paint uh the kids it, it's a it's a paint and the answer is it was painted by by someone over there and the yesterday yeah yesterday it, it's a it's a it's a song mm -hmm. that it was a a composed by by the Beatles. Awesome. Okay, so thank you. I got confused. <laughs> I but it, that's right. That, okay. That's the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you for letting us know that, uh, Julio, because I yeah. I was I, I didn't know that. So yeah, I, I think that I heard once that that song yesterday was composed by the Beatles. So thank you for letting mm -hmm. us know that. Thank you. Bueno, ahí está, ahí está la okay. respuesta. Eh, por si no lo sabían, eh, Julio nos acaba de rectificar ahí, ¿verdad? Que la canción Yesterday fue compuesta por los Beatles. Eso es parte de como el knowledge que teníamos al principio. Así que eso sería todo por ahora, guys. Si no tienen alguna pregunta, alguna inquietud, 
eh, nos vamos a quedar hasta aquí por ahora eh, como siempre verdad si tienen algún problema o algo eh, podemos eh, verlo a través del grupo de whatsapp y ahí nos podemos apoyar entre todos verdad así que muchas gracias por quedarse guys thank you so much for coming to the class today and i will see you guys tomorrow I hope you guys have a great evening Bye bye guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Thank bye. you, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.